Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video and welcome to another haul. I know you like these and I am here to oblige. So today we're going to be doing a B&M and a little bit of TK Maxx slash HomeSense haul. So if you want to see what I picked up and it's a little bit of everything for me, for the babies, for Adam, for everyone, then stick around and let's get to the video. First of all, I want to start by saying hello to anyone who's here for the first time. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this family that has been growing steadily ever since I started this. And I really hope you like the content of basically our lifestyle channel. There is a little bit in Greek, there's a little bit in English, there's a little bit of everything here. If this is your thing and you would like to stick around, I would love to have you. So don't forget to push that subscribe button right under there. If you do that, then a little bell will appear. Click on that little bell as well. And then YouTube will notify you again when I upload a new video. I don't want to waffle more about this. I literally want to go straight to the video. So let's get started. I'm going to start with some of the things that I picked up from TK Maxx and HomeSense. So one of the first things is just a pack of 12 non-slip hangers. Yes, they're pink, obviously. If you've been here for some time now, you've noticed from my background maybe, or generally from my clothes, that I have found my feminine side, weirdly enough, after all these years. So I'm wearing a little bit more of pink and I am buying a few more pink items. So I got these because I needed some more hangers for my wardrobe and they're in a really, really good price. They were only $3.99 and a good quality. So these are the first item. Walking around the baby section and we were looking into clothes and we were looking to get something for Orion. Andromeda noticed from her pram because she was looking at all the colours and everything else that was around there. This a little thing here. So this little thing when I picked it up because she was trying to reach for it I thought it was just a teddy bear but uh-uh it is not. It's not just a teddy bear it's a little bag. Like how cute is this? It has a reversible sequence on the front which is quite nice so they go either silver or a nice little pink and this is from a company called under one sky brand and instagram i have never seen them before i've never heard of them before but this is the card we actually got it for 12.99 i do really like it that is the little bag that andromeda picked up for herself and along with that the reason why we had stopped right there in the section with all of the toys is because I was looking to get a toy for Orion and the toy that I picked, which I thought is gorgeous, it is so cute, is this little dinosaur here. So this is going to be going into Ryan's cot when he's here with us. It was only $4.99, the price is still on there where you can see it um, and I think it's the absolute cutest hence why we got it for Orion that is so soft as well and mentioning the fact that we shopped a little bit for Orion I want to show you some of the items that we picked up for him and I've not just picked items that are zero to three when it comes to the age I've also picked up some items that are three to six and that's because I know we're going to be going into summertime. I know that we will be needing them. I do have quite a few that are already zero to three because we've prepped for it, but I don't have as many when it comes to three to six. And that's why I decided to pick up a few. One of them is this pack of three little grows. If you want, well, vests, not grows. I really like these. These are organic cotton. They're 100% organic cotton. These are three to six, like I said. The brand is Rabbit and Bear by Emily and Oliver. The front one says naturally cute, which, well, if he looks anything like his sister, he will definitely be cute. So that's the first one. The second one is just a plain grey with a teeny tiny bit of pattern, like a grey green pattern on it. And then the third one is just a green one with tiny little stars. They are all so cute. And yeah, I just, I, I had to pick them up. Now the price on these was $7.99. So we got these for him as well. One of 
of the things that literally make my day is when I see little outfits like this when it comes to boys. I'm not a massive fan of the bow ties but I do find them a hell of a lot more cuter when I see them in uh, little men. When I see them in older men they kind of look ridiculous but that's my opinion. I prefer a tie rather than a bow tie but hey ho. But for little guys something like this is just the cutest little thing. So this one is a three to six set and I do believe that we're going to be wearing it during summertime because as you can see the sleeves are quite short and they are tucked in. Now the price on this one was $16.99. Some may say that it's a little bit too much but I do think that it is lovely. Something similar to the previous outfit and again with a bow tie because I had to. I literally had to. This is a zero to three. How can you resist things like that? I mean, I can't. It's a beautiful deep blue pair of jeans with the adjustable straps so it can be worn depending on how tall he's going to be. The waist is also adjustable. The beautiful little pink shirt that has a little moustache on the pocket on the top. It is the cutest. Comes with its own bow tie that is deep blue with stars on it. This in particular was $12.99. So as you can see it says 0 to 3 and it was $12.99 and this is the brand Little Gent. Last couple of items that I picked up for Ryan. They are just some bandana bibs the brand is modern baby on these ones the first three were this and i just had to pick this up because of this because see you later alligator so <laughs> i thought it was really funny and they have this gray one with the alligator on the top then there is a plain dark blue one over here and also a multicolored one with a few like jungle animals on the last one 3.99 for these and and the second pack that i got again from the same company is coming with dinosaurs on it obviously i got him a dinosaur toy i had to get him the dinosaur bibs so this one says less raw because if you can see the dinosaurs are on skates which is so cute and on top of that again another just plain dark blue bib and the third one is a grey one with the dinosaurs skating as well. I do really like them. They are 60% cotton, 40% polyester, so they won't get destroyed when they are washed. And they will be washed quite a lot. So these were the items for Orion. And the last thing that we picked up from TK Maxx was a pair of shoes for Adam because he just wanted just a plain pair of black shoes to wear from here to work and come back and we found these Everlast trainers what do you want to call them which is these ones here and we picked them up we were I mean and in between three different pairs eventually we went down to these not just because of the price but also because of the sole it had a more reinforced sole the price for these was $16.99 which is also a great price considering that you're buying trainers and this is literally the last of the items that we picked up from TK Maxx. Starting with B&M and I'm going to start with everything that we got that is edible. We walked past all of the food aisles before we went into anything else and we did pick up quite a lot now along with the items that i'm going to show you there are items that my mom picked up because if you've watched the previous videos then you know that i was expecting her to be here before i gave birth and she's here and we went out shopping so this is kind of like a mix between what i picked up what she picked up and a couple of items that I just I had to you you'll understand why I'm saying I had to so let's start with the first item which is just a box of coffee cream champions these are like individual pots milk pots we do have them in Greece everywhere they are something like a standard there but they are quite hard to find here my mum does prefer these because they are like set portions of milk that you can use for your coffee so she picked this one up another thing that my mum also picked up is the slimline tonic sweeps I hate tonic so don't even ask now you'll see the difference I have picked up a lot of items that I shouldn't have picked and one of them is the Tate and Lyle caramel syrup now I do have a caramel syrup already but it's about 
there so it's not much left and I had to completely stop drinking my coffee with any form of syrup inside because within the last month of my pregnancy I had been diagnosed with gestational diabetes I am not that far away from actually giving birth now which means I can return back to my lovely sweet habits and I knew that the caramel syrup will be used quite often and I would have been running low on it soon so I picked up another one the caramel is quite hard to find I keep finding salted caramel which I also have but I don't like as much as the plain caramel so I had to pick the plain caramel one up this is me being good right so I can fill myself up with something that I can actually eat during this time and before I give birth and I find these gouillon I think they're gouillon or something like that. They may be Spanish and they've been goulon or something. Anyway, they are sugar-free chocolate flavor wafers and there are three smaller packs in here. So there are these ones there. And I actually picked up two boxes because I'm going to pack one in my maternity bag, basically what I'm carrying with me to the hospital if I like this one. One of the best offers I have seen on this particular item, we do eat a lot of peanut butter in this house and I found Whole Earth, which is the brand that we prefer. Usually this jar, which is the 340 grams jar, I am paying around the four pound mark to get from Tesco and they had it for two pounds in B&M so guess what I went and picked up two my mum picked up some biscuits I can't touch them especially the milk chocolate ones because she got the McVitie's Tasties milk chocolate digestives I hadn't even seen these I do hate her for doing this because I freaking love McVitie's and these would have been in my belly by now but yeah unfortunately I can't eat those and along with these she got some coconut rings they are also from the tasties range from uh, mcvitie's i've not tried these one up let me quickly check what's going on with the sugar here oh no nope. nope can't have these either there's a lot of sugar content in these the last two items that my mum picked and to be fair i thought adam picked if i'm honest these are beans in uh, tomato sauce they're the Heinz beans but they are the ones that contain pork sausages in there but you know what they say beans beans I'm not going to say it you know what they say and what they do to you after you have too many of them so these were picked up as well I found my absolute favorite and you'll see a theme coming up now but I found my absolute favorite chocolate drink it's not the actual chocolate but Milka is my favorite chocolate so every single time i find them i check the expiry date and if it's at least three to four months away i'm picking up as many as i can so this time i've only picked up two they're not gonna last for too long but had to pick them up when i saw them and right next to them part of the coffee shop selections which surprised the hell out of me is something that is new it's a chai latte is sweet and spicy now i have not tried this before and i wanted to give it a try hence why i picked this up it's this one here we'll be trying these and i'll be telling you if i like them or not now I did say you're going to see a theme emerging, didn't I? And I did actually clarify that Milka is my favourite chocolate. If you have been on my Instagram, you would have by now seen a post I have uploaded. I'm going to put my Instagram handle here so you can go and check that out. But I have posted something about a particular setting that they had at the end of an aisle in B&M that literally had my heart... <sighs> like i had palpitations just by stopping there i saw it i got so excited you'll notice because i said i should not be buying things like that i should not be buying chocolate i should not be buying any sweets because of the gestational diabetes what i have done is that i said to my partner this is that little corner of heaven that could make me turn proper diabetic and i went and bought quite a lot of chocolate because i only have three three-ish weeks to go from the minute that i'm actually filming this video to give birth so i will be able to eat some of the chocolate that i picked up and i can wait three weeks i've waited this far i can definitely wait three more weeks for it so i'm going to show you all of the milk and chocolate that i picked up and the reason why i picked up 
a hell of a lot is because they had them on offer for 79p per bar. I felt like I would have to call one of the clerks and be like, bring the whole shelf down, I'm buying everything. But I didn't, I didn't. I did buy a lot, but I didn't buy everything. <laughs> I'm going to start with the first milker, which is a new milker. It's a flavour I've never tried before and I'm quite excited to give it a try. It's an almond crispy cream. This has to be tried and if it's a good one, then we're definitely going back to B&M to get more of them. Then we went to some of the staples, the ones that I always buy. So there is a happy cow that I always pick. There is three of the strawberry bars. And the reason why we're going for three is because I love Milka, but Adam loves the strawberry one as well. So we had to get one for him too. And then we went to a little bit bigger. So we went, thank God even bigger chocolate these are the raisin and nuts which i know i'm going to be having a fight with adam because he's like that i'm claiming that one and i'm like no you're not milk is my chocolate i picked these one for me then we have just a plain milk so that's like the plain milk chocolate and we have the whole hazelnut which is going to be another one that we're going to have a fight over but I told him if he wants to meet his son and he doesn't want to end up dead in a ditch somewhere, he's not going to touch my chocolate. <laughs> Milka is a sacred thing to me. I'm going to show you the last item that I picked up that literally I've noticed as we walked in and there were Easter decorations, Easter food, and of course, Easter eggs. And I went and picked up this one for myself. So I got the Bailey's Strawberries and Cream Egg. It comes with a white chocolate egg and it does have four little chocolate hearts on the bottom. Last year we bought the Strawberries and Cream Bailey's. I had half a glass and then I found out I was pregnant and I couldn't touch it anymore. It literally killed me. So I am quite excited to give this one a try. But this is the last edible item from the B&M haul. So we're going to get straight into the homeware part. And going into the homeware items that we picked up, they're not that many, but they are few but really, really nice. I do want to start with two little banners that I found. One just says, believe in yourself, which is this one here. And I thought that this is going to be fantastic when we decide to divide the room that Andromeda is in right now and to change the creation from completely girly to like half the room being boyish and half the room being girlish. <laughs> These are going to be perfect for the side that Orion is going to be. So this one says believe in yourself and there were only 150 believe it or not. Hence one of the reasons why I picked it up. So I got this one and I also got the one that says everything is possible even the impossible. I really like these two little banners. Now if you've watched my hospital bag video and what I've packed in there I did mention that I was looking to get a pair of slippers. I got these 7 to 8 memory foam slippers really really cute they did have them in grey as well and some of the other patterns that they had were polka dots which were also very cute but I couldn't find my size the price was only 3 dollars amazing beautiful gorgeous and very very happy for it now one item that I had been considering potentially buying a two-tiered one but then I didn't think it would fit my kitchen and you'd probably know that if you've watched any of my cleaning videos where I wash my dishes is basically a drainer we found this at B&M and we said you know what we're going to get it we're going to give it a try it's a little bit bigger than what I have right now hopefully it's going to take more and it's going to suit us better this was $5.99 to get as you can see on the price and they did have it in a silver color as well and in a rose gold the rose gold was gorgeous but it would not fit my kitchen at all hence why we picked up the black shiny black one so this was one and the very last item that we picked up from B&M is something I'm actually excited and it's not even for me. It is something we picked up for Mocha. 
she well one of the main reasons why we went to that area today was because she had a grooming appointment and while she was getting herself groomed we always kind of check to see what we can get for her even if it's a small treat or if it's going to be an outfit from B&M or something like that especially when they have outfits for $3.99 which is really good price this time though they had a bed and I had been looking into getting her a bed for quite some time now because the bed that we have been using all of these years has been washed quite a few times it has lost the fluffiness of it it's not as comfortable as it used to be and she's not really sleeping on it anymore so i've been looking to get her a new bed to get her more comfortable and my eye caught uh. this beautiful thing <laughs> Now they did have it in cream and they did have it in grey and I was having an iron between the grey and this but my heart was just set. It was love at first sight. I've seen it and I had to get it. She would blend in with the cream because it's the same colour as a fur and the grey one if she was to get dirty would look really muddy. This one because it's a colourful one I do believe it's going to be the best when it comes to her laying because it's not going to show as fast as the other two. It will show obviously it's a light colour but it's not going to show as fast. It's quite a big bed as well and it's really proper fluffy. You can see like the size from here and it was only 12 pounds to get i'm gonna be putting it into our bedroom tonight and hopefully since she's all groomed and beautiful and posh she's going to go straight into her new bed and enjoy it as much as i love looking at it because i do love looking at it <laughs> And this was the very last item that we picked up from B&M. I hope you really enjoyed this haul. I hope you liked some of the items. Do let me know in the comments down below what was your favourite item from TK Maxx and what was your favourite item from B&M. Which one you would actually physically go into a store and pick up yourselves. And also do let me know if you like these kind of videos and if you want to see more of them even if it is just like a video of come shopping with me instead of just seeing what we bought to actually take you with us to the shops so this is the time where i'm closing the video i hope it wasn't too long i hope it didn't tire you and i definitely hope to see you again on the next one up until that next time hope you're all doing fantastic and well toodles